to see seven, eight offensive linemen uh, on the surface. Yeah, yeah, we have, we're, we're getting ready for that stuff right now, and it kind of helped to play uh, Minnesota a little bit earlier with, you know, they have bigger players on their team, so definitely something we're, we're looking at and getting ready for. You know, it's it's really about preparation and getting your your body and your mind right. You know, uh, obviously it's going to be a physical and, and a, a fight kind of kind of plays and and with those with a lot of linemen in there. But you know, it's getting your body, mind, and soul right and getting ready to go and you know sacrifice all you got. No, I didn't. I just I felt like it was four years and you know I, I wanted to run on senior day and uh, I felt like it was the right decision. Yeah, it's everything. We we need to we try new things and uh, you know find ways to give more effort, give more uh, preparation. You know, be be a better teammate, do something to to get yourself over that hump. And it's it's tough and it's not not an easy feeling to, to have. But uh, that's what we're working on every day right now. You know, I I, I trust in my coaches. We and we we watch a lot of film. We watch a lot of. A lot of little details that can help us get an edge, and you know, I trust it in their in their vision and their uh, their mentalities that we can get it done. Man, everything we've done this entire year has been right, has been for this game. And so, you know, we couldn't be more ready for it. And our, our coaches have done a great job of of allowing us to you know, kind of like slowly build to that to this moment. But, uh, you know, it's, it's the reason you come here. You know, it's there's nothing else really to it other than to win this game. You know, he's such a he's a, such a big leader, whether he's on the field or off, off the field. So. Um, we're just so thankful that we can uh, have a have a, a leader like that and on our team and get ready for this game. Oh, it's the same same Tommy. Uh, he's he's always ready to get in, even if he they don't let him. So uh, you know, I I just appreciate that. I think that's the kind of person he is, and, and it rubs off on the rest of the linebacker unit and the defense as a whole. Oh yeah, it was, yeah. I mean, he he. Uh, I mean, we know how he thinks, and he could he would probably do anything to play in that game. And uh, but I think he understood the the bigger the bigger moment. And uh, we're just we're so thankful to have a, someone like that with that mentality on our team because he if if he if it was if it was up to him he would play no matter what. Yeah, you know, it, it's it's tough as as his first year last year with us, and he's just getting to know really the rivalry and being being a part of it. And um, you know, I think you know as as it's gone on and as as he's been here for for a lot longer that he's uh, he's understanding how how much every little detail matters. And and uh, it, not saying he wasn't before, but he was now. It's it's so much more magnified of how much more focus and how much more every little detail matters more. Yeah, and and we're we're still putting stuff in right now. We're no, nothing set in stone until the foot hits the ball. But uh, we're uh, yeah, a hundred percent. We 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 know what we need to do, and um, I full trust in my coaches to put together something that will be right for our team. And and uh, we'll just see how how it uh, how it progresses this week, and and get ready for Saturday. So during the season is a little a little different because you're you're preparing for your, the your opponent, but you know in the off season we'll we'll have periods where we'll watch we'll watch their just getting ready for what they what they do, and we watch a lot a little bit of last year, 
Um, you know, before this week, I wouldn't say it's too much because we're just trying to get ready, but our, our coaches have definitely um, always had, a, had an eye on them. And, and now this week, it's especially with our Thanksgiving, we have so much more time to be able to do stuff without school. So um, uh, it's I've already started with just as getting as much film as I can in early front load in the week. So in, in the, at the end of the week, I can really focus on the little stuff and um, it certainly helps with no school. So. Yeah, I, I, I just think we, uh, those are areas we can do better. And I'm, we've all probably seen those plays a million times now. So, you know, it, it hurts when you watch it, but, um, you know, it's it's all about the little details. All those all those big plays happen because a small little detail that it's really all fundamentals. So we have to get back to making sure we are fundamentally sound at, at every every position. You've played across the wall this season. How have you seen the offensive line grow in terms of physicality, in terms of chemistry, to face the challenges of the game? Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, it, we see it all the time in practice. We we go against them all the time, and um, I think those are our, our best reps where we can go against our offense and and all the little, well, big uh, movements and and confusion that they cause for all the defenses across the Big Ten. But uh, we're um, I, I have supreme confidence in in them, and they they work so hard with Coach Fry and everything. So I'm I'm excited to see what they can do. Oh, they're they're good athletes. They uh they they work well in space, and you know our our uh, our focus is to is to limit their impact as much as possible, and as much as everybody else in their offense. So, um, you know they they're good players, and we want to be able to to limit any, anything they could do that that can hurt us. Yeah, you, you got to be physical, and you got to you got to be able to dictate what what you want to do, and. Um, have an answer for everything that they're trying to confuse you with, and um, yeah, especially from that game though, to to just be as physical as possible. Yeah, no, he's really creative, and he can he can make something out of nothing. So, you know, our our, our goal is to just contain him as much as possible, and uh, and not not allow him to make as crazy plays as he as he makes. He's a good player, so. Um, we just have to do our best and and uh, and, uh, and contain them. Cody, you talked about. Look how physically like they looked this time a year ago coming into this game. I mean, the last couple of games have been interesting to watch them offensively. Obviously, they ran the ball 32 times, never threw it in the second half against Penn State. Yeah. That, what, does that, what does that just tell you about where they are offensively coming into this game? Yeah, I mean, we we don't really we're not really focusing too much on what they did last year, but um, you know. Yeah, yeah, last couple of weeks. I mean, we just know it's always it's always the um, going to come down to the, the rushing attack and, and being as physical as possible at the point of attack. And you know, they they, they set a standard to to run the ball, and so it's going to be up to us to be able to to stand up to that and, and to defend the run as, as well as possible. The way they run their offense the last two weeks, without having a head coach on the sideline, look different at all. Does it look like the same stuff? How does it kind of compare when he's there versus not there? When you watch them? Well, it's 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 definitely a. Uh, an interesting situation for them, and uh, you know I haven't really got into talking about any of that. Uh, what's going on? But you know I, I think they run the ball. They they try to run the ball the same way and and try to be physically imposing. And so they're they're good up front. So it really doesn't make a difference what they. I, I think what their coaches is just um, finding the right plays to to defend each each run and and just being physical. Cody, you talk about winning games on defense. You know, how do you balance being aggressive but not overly aggressive against teams? Yeah, and no, that comes down to to probably Coach Knowles. He's he's all knowing with his uh with his with his defenses. But uh, you know, it, there there are definitely ebbs and flows of, of the game, and and uh, not getting out of control with your with what we play. And and I think Coach Knowles is a great handle, and I, I trust him completely on what he what he decides to do with the defense. But even like defending the run, you know, contained versus trying to make a TFL. Like, how do you balance that in game? Oh yeah, it's really. I mean, gap integrity is huge. Um, just being able to stay in your stay in your gap and 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 not allowing any any big holes. And their running backs are good. They they hit holes hard and they they uh, they are patient in time. So I think for us just to be as, as gap integrity and gap sound as possible. You said you, you feel like you guys are as prepared as you can be for this game. Can you weighted it all to last year, like where you guys were mentally and emotionally 
a year ago coming into this game to where you are now? Is there anything that feels different? Do you feel, I don't know, same kind of thing? Yeah, I mean, we, we want to kind of focus on it as this year as as itself. You know, our every year is different. And so for us, it's it's really just how we prepare throughout this entire year, including the offseason and everything. So, you know, our emotions are are definitely high and we want to, um, you know, we want to like we want to create that that uh, emotion and that and that intensity in that game. And it all starts this week. You know, that it's Tuesday. You can't win the game today. But, you know, we our focus is building that slow, that slow, uh, that slow build to the to the game and and not allowing our emotions to get ahead of us. Yeah. A hundred percent. I mean, but I, and that's the thing about uh, being at a place like Ohio State. You know, it's kind of expected that you win by a lot of a lot of points. But that's been our goal every every week this year is just to win. Like it's it doesn't matter really what it looks like. We just have to win. And so, you know, that I I kind of find comfort in that because. You know, we're not trying to do anything extraordinary. We're just trying to do our job and what we've been doing all year. It's it's definitely not easy, even. Um, but we, I I think it's, you know, especially the the age of the players on our teams now. We're we're all good with our phones and everything, but. You know, I, when, when it comes to me, I just try to, you know, if I see something, I scroll past it or just don't even focus on it because I know what, what really matters is what we talk about here and like in the Woody and and whatever, anything else I see out there just doesn't mean much to me. So I I, I know what the truth is here and um, I'm just getting ready for the game. Thank you.